Hey, good morning. If you're like every other mother I know, you may be dealing with frazzle. June seems to be the month where all the things happen. I don't understand why they all have to happen in June, but it's when we have to have the end of the year barbecue and the PTA appreciation and all of the concerts, all of the barbecues, all of the field trips. Everything seems to happen in June. And I don't know one woman who has school age kids who's not pulling her hair out. Even my private clients who pay a lot of money to work with me are having trouble um, scheduling with me. Hello to who's ever out there. So uh, I wanted to talk about what to do. Now, I know like you've got like a week of school left or two weeks of school left or whatever it is, and you're, you're in frazzle right now and you're getting through and it's hard. And are you taking time, carving out whatever time you can, saying no? Like those are all the things I teach. But what I want to talk about is what are you going to do after school ends? I was having a conversation with a client yesterday and she was kind of just waiting for school to end so that she could get her life back. And I said, what do you think it's going to be like? And she's like, well, it's going to be great because my husband's going to be home and he's a teacher and everything's just going to be fine. And I said, good morning, Rachel. I said, um, you know, you're just kind of expecting that everything's going to change once school ends. But remember, you've trained everyone to know you're the go-to person. You're the person who like is going to make their breakfast and going to plan the day and going to do all the things. And until you put some boundaries around the training that you've done, things are going to continue on as usual. If you want your summer to look more relaxed, more joyful, more playful, you you weirdly have to plan it. And I know that that sounds counterintuitive, but right now you're pushing through some hard things. You are trying to get through. You're you're it feels terrible. You're just waiting for it to be over and at the end of it you're just going to be like, "Oh, Now we can relax. But unless you have a plan, everything is going to kind of bleed into each other. So I, I encourage you. I want you to think about your future self. I want you to think about yourself like next week or the week after, or maybe it's July 1st. But what do you want your days to look like? What do you want your perfect summer day to look like? Is there something you're working on? Because if you have a goal or a business or a book or a podcast or something that you want to achieve... And, and summer's your time to get some shit done, then if you don't plan for it, it's just going to kind of continue that frazzle, the scatter. Where did the days go? Where did the summer go? And so I told this client she has to put a container around the things she wants to do. And the way that I like to teach this is called a time in with yourself. So what is it that you really want? Give yourself time during the day to have a time in with it. That might mean you wake up at five o'clock in the morning and do your writing. That might mean you go for your walk, but you, you have to have that time in with yourself or else it will never happen. And then you have to have a time out because you deserve to have fun and you deserve to just be present and be spontaneous. And so the time in with your goal and the time out with your goal is vital. But if you don't plan for it, suddenly two weeks will have gone by and nothing will have happened. I'm watching this happen with my clients literally this month. Everybody that I'm meeting with, they're like, oh yeah, I, we met two weeks ago and I haven't done a thing. And I was like, okay, well, let's talk about what, why that is. And there's no shame in it. I just want you to be aware of it. If you do not have a plan The days bleed into each other and then you're like, oh yeah, I really wanted that thing, but I didn't make it happen. So please have a time in with yourself, whether it's for self-care or professional development, and then go have a time in with the thing that's really fun. Go have a time in with your family. Go have a time in with your friends. Last week, I was thinking about what I want my perfect summer day to look like. And I really, I I tend to overwork. I've talked about this before. And so like, I could just like write and write and write and write and coach and coach and coach and like, like work and work and work. And I I find it fun, but also I get a little crispy when I do it too much. So uh, this year, my best friend has a pool and we have been waiting for somebody that we know to have a pool. And finally, my best friend has a pool. And so I decided I'm going to stop working every day when I pick Jack up from camp. And so I can go over to her pool and be with my best friend and be at her pool that's what I want to do. 
And so I carved out time. I'm going to make my days. That's my perfect summer day. I work in the morning. I I go for a walk in the morning. I work during the day. And then at three o'clock, I'm done for the summer. And yes, it will affect my business. Yes, things will be different. But I wanted a time in with my business and I want a time in with some fun. So what do you want your perfect summer day to look like? Obviously, it's not going to be 100% like that. But if you don't plan it, those percentages go way down. So please plan what you want. I know you're pushing through the frazzle and the scatter. And the reason is because you just didn't plan for it. Like every year I forget, like June is a shit show. So take your future self into consideration. And maybe right now you open up your electronic calendar and you go to June 2020 and you put some reminders on there like, hey, remember to say no this month to some things because it's a shit show. Hey, let's suggest that we do the field trip in in March rather than in June. So how can you help your future self get what you really want? Because you do have control. You have much more control than you think you do. It's just a personal choice every day. I hope this was helpful. I'm Jen Liddy. I'm a business development coach. And my goal is to help women get the business that they love without sucking the life out of their life. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if you have any questions and and drop me a note. What do you want your perfect summer day to look like. Bye.